Hi, I'm Ryan Vanderwerf. I'm here to talk today about how to best install and maintain your Gradle versions. I'm talking about a tool called GVM, or Groovy Environment Manager, written by Marco Vermelin, which can be found at gvmtool.net. First, you will need to already have a JDK installed in your system. Once you have that configured and running, you're ready to install GVM and Gradle. This tool is a great way to automatically download and manage your Gradle versions, but it also works for Groovy Grails, Vertex, Lazy Bones, Griffin, and more. GVM is run in Bash, so it will work great on Mac, OS X, Linux, and most Unixes, as well as Windows with Cygwin installed. To get started, I'll go ahead and follow the instructions on their website. All we need to do is go to their website, copy this one line command to your terminal window, like so and we'll install GVM. I already have it installed, so it won't download again, but uh, if you were new, it would download it and install it and give you this same message. Now let's go ahead and show that um, what Gradle versions we installed. So if we type GVM list Gradle, it will show us all the versions available for installation. At this point, my current version, which is marked by the greater than sign, is version 1.12. If I'd like to switch back between versions, I just type GVM use Gradle and the version number. So if I want to use 1.11, I just run this command. Everything is switched over, all my paths and environment variables, Gradle Home, all of that's taken care of for you. So this is a great tool to hop between different versions uh, if you've got many software projects running different versions of it and you're not already using the wrapper. Now let's set up a quick Gradle build to show that everything is working properly. If I run Gradle init, it'll create a sample project for me. And inside the sample project, it creates a few files. It creates a Gradle wrapper file, which you can run and it'll auto download Gradle if you don't already have it. It'll give you a build.gradle file, which is the main file that controls everything about your build, and then a settings.gradle file. Let's go ahead and look inside the build.gradle file really quickly, and we'll cover more of this in later. It will, by default, be entirely commented out. If you uncomment it, it will apply the Java plugin. Let's go ahead and do that and create some dependencies, like log4j and uh, junit. So now if I want to make sure this is working, I just type Gradle tasks. It will show me the available Gradle task commands I can run. There we go. So now we have a Java plugin installed. I have lots of options for the Java plugin. If you run other plugins of Gradle, it'll add other tasks that you can also run from there. And this concludes the section for using GVM. We'll cover later the Gradle wrapper and in detail of all the different kinds of projects you can run.